Hello, everyone. It's Aunt Fernita. Today's story is called "He Is Risen." The memory verse is from Luke, chapter twenty-four, verse six. It says, "He is not here. He has risen." The message is, because he lives again, I can choose to have a future with Jesus. Have you ever been disappointed because you expected something special, something you were sure would happen, but didn't? The disciples had hoped for all kinds of special things in Jesus's kingdom. Then Jesus died. What would happen next? After suffering greatly, Jesus died on the cross Friday afternoon. Even though he was dead. The priest still worried, so Pilate assigned soldiers to guard the tomb where he lay. Early Sunday morning, an earthquake suddenly shook the ground around the tomb. A mighty angel, as bright as lightning, appeared and rolled the stone away. The soldiers they stared at Jesus stepped out of the tomb, filled with fear. They fell to the ground. They knew that they had crucified the Son of God. Quickly, the soldiers ran to the city and told the chief priests. They described the earthquake. They described how the angel had rolled away the huge stone. They told about seeing Jesus come out of the tomb alive. The priests were so frightened. The people must not be told that Jesus is alive. They thought. Stunned, Caiaphas, the high priest, could hardly speak. Wait, wait! He called as the soldiers turned to leave. You must not tell anyone what you have seen. Say that his disciples came by night and took him away while you slept. The soldiers were horrified. If they said that they were asleep at their post, they could be killed. The priest knew what the soldiers were thinking. Quickly, they promised them money. They would ask Pilate to protect the soldiers. Shortly after the soldiers left for the city, Mary Magdalene arrived at the tomb. She found it empty and hurried away to tell the disciples. Other women also went to the tomb that morning, but Jesus wasn't there. Gently, the angel who had rolled away the stone spoke to the women. Don't be afraid; he is not here. He has risen, just as he said he would. Go quickly and tell his friends. Jesus will meet you all in Galilee. These women hurried away to tell Jesus's disciples. When Mary Magdalene told the disciples that Jesus had been taken away, Peter and John hurried to the tomb. Mary followed them. When they returned to Jerusalem, she stayed behind. Filled with grief, she wept as she looked into the empty tomb. There, she saw two angels. "Woman, why are you crying?" asked one. "Because they have taken my Lord away," she replied. Weeping, she turned away. Suddenly, another voice spoke to her. Why are you crying? Tell me, tell me where he is," she pleaded. Mary, the gentle voice spoke again. Suddenly, Mary knew this was not a stranger; it was Jesus Himself. Filled with joy, she looked into His face. "Go and tell my disciples," He said. And Mary found her way to the disciples with the joyful message, "Jesus is alive. He is risen, and I have seen him." Yes, Jesus is alive. He is our risen Savior, and because He lives, you and I can choose to have happiness and eternal life with Jesus, 
And that happiness can start right now as we give ourselves to Him and accept Him as our Savior. This podcast is read by Franita Buddy for Gracelink.net. Created and produced by Falvo Fowler. Post produced by Faith Toe at Studio El Piso. The theme music is by Clayton Kinney. Animation and artwork by Giogo Godoy. The audio engineer was Karel Holness. For more information, please visit gracelink.net.